Hey guys, Paul Rex still here with Team Fat Boys, and um, I did a couple of videos a long time ago about the best bait for catfish, and um, I I got a little carried away. I uh, left uh, left it pretty vague, and uh, uh, I had other people, you know, well, what about this? What about that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down just to the point. Um, whether you're fishing for bullhead, channel, blues, or flatheads, okay? Fish eat fish. Uh, we're talking shad, moon eye, skipjack, suckers, perch, bluegill, google eye, uh, carp, buffalo, Asian carp, big head carp, leashes, worm. What you have to think is anything in nature, okay? Uh... Even bugs, you know, anything that's in nature that could fall in the water, uh, you know, you know, when it's raining, you can go outside and you find uh, all kinds of worms. The same thing happens uh, on the creek banks, uh, lakes, uh, whatever you're fishing. When it rains, the water starts coming down the little valleys and stuff on the hills. And it washes them worms into uh, the water. And then the fish eat those. The same thing with bugs. Um, then you've got, you know, all the fish that I talked about. You know, the, the shad, skipjack, moon eye, suckers, perch, bluegill. All those are natural in a catfish's habitat. And fish eat fish. You know, you can't dig up hot dogs. You can't dig up... Uh, uh, beef liver, you can you know, beef, you know, liver works, but we're talking about uh, bait that is natural in the habitat. Um, you catch yourself out with any bait, you could always catch a couple bugs, put a couple bugs on your hook, catch you some bluegill, cut up the bluegill, then fish for the catfish. So, either way you go, it's in nature. Fish, eat, Fish. So I hope that kind of narrowed it down for you, at least uh, made a little bit of sense. But uh, I, I wish you luck in catching many, many catfish. And until then, remember, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living.